video your girl is back and you another vlog if you know my channel hey girl hey and if you're a returning subscriber i don't even gotta say nothing because you know what's up i know what's up we know what's up and that's on what that's on what that's on period mary happy little lamb so as y'all can see by the title we're going on vacation and by we i mean me and you y'all i am so excited y'all already know how i do when i go on vacation anywhere i go y'all go and y'all probably thinking like asia why guatemala out of all places but y'all it was because the flights were cheap y'all know these airlines prices are like rocket high right now so i was just like let me see where i can go on a budget and guatemala had a round trip for like 120 and i thought i paid for my bags it was like roughly 160 but that's not bad for a round trip yeah so we're going to guatemala i couldn't find much research online when i was like looking up stuff for this trip so i'm gonna try to make this video as detailed as possible i'm gonna link my hotel my airbnb any excursions i do taxi services anything i do i'm gonna link it for y'all and y'all know how we do we late on vacation so make sure y'all stay tuned this also is a girl's trip i'm going with one of my girlfriends but i'm gonna meet her at the airport so yeah i'll see y'all when i get there we're going on vacation we are going on vacation we're going on vacation y'all guess what we're going on vacation Ooh, la, la. we arrived to guatemala they did ask for our negative covid test or vaccination card which had to be within three days of our departure also our airline gave us this form to fill out it just asks general information i'm sure your airline will provide it too we filled the form out they reviewed it it had our passport number on it our name our address where we were staying how long we were going to be in the country they stamped it and we were on our way The next thing we did was convert our money to Kazelles. I believe I spent about $300 and I got back almost 1,800 Kazelles. Let me show you first 600 euros, you get the money back then. That means you have When you leave the country, you can exchange back everything already. 600 euros. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can't ask you that question. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, where did you get the for a I'm a student. I can't have the apartment. Then I said, What kind of thing? It's not going. Oh, I was like, Wait. I need a receipt. Oh, no. Wait, wait, go back. Tell her. Can you tell her? I need the receipt. She needs a receipt, please. Once I got done converting my currency, I went over to Claro to get a SIM card. That way I can use my phone in Central America. This cost about 40 quizels, which is equivalent to five US dollars. Any transactions we made in the airport, they did ask us for our passport. Crazy. Last and final thing we had to do before exiting the airport was get our passport stamp and then we were on our way. Well, kind of. We had to find an Uber. Go tell the lady. Bless us. But I'm about to get ready and get ready for dinner. Um, we just got here. It's kind of an ugly day. I did come to Guatemala during their raining season. I wouldn't recommend coming through May. I believe all the way up until September is the rainy season. But I knew that. That's probably why the flight was so cheap. But I'm about to get ready now. I'm going to see y'all once I'm done getting ready for dinner.
turned up before dinner. We're on our way to meat and, is it called meat and lobster? <laughs> Wait, which floor was it? It's called meat lobster. Oh, it's first, first floor. First floor. Okay. Y'all, we're going to meat and lobster for dinner. We push it down with time, so they close at 7.25. Okay, we got time. They close at nine, y'all. So this is how we look for dinner. Y'all, I forgot my shoes. Look at these. Look at this. Look, look at this. <laughs> I forgot mine too. It don't really go, but kind of. Yours don't look, look that bad though. It doesn't look bad at all. But yeah, we'll see y'all at um, dinner. Oh, I gotta use this thing. I like this hotel. I like how everything is just like so secretive. Like you can't get in here, y'all. You can't get in here without this. Oh, it's no touch. Wait. I thought it was touch. It's so Y'all, <laughs> it's so pretty out here, but they don't allow you to be on your phone. You're not supposed to take pictures around this area. By the way, we are staying in Cayela, um, Guatemala. It's like 30 minutes. Well, I believe this is Guatemala City. It's just a zone in Guatemala, and it reminds me of Greece. So freaking pretty. All the buildings are white. Friend, you okay? Yes. <laughs> it looks so pretty. Oh, my teeth look so nice. But yeah, y'all, I have to put my phone away because I have to like sneak and record to get footage for this trip for y'all. Because earlier, an official told us that we could not have our phone out. We couldn't record. We can get fined. So yeah. Uh, we are at dinner and this is my beautiful date. Hi. So beautiful. Hi. Thank you, babe. here so me and my friend we woke up in the morning we made coffee we came out here and we just kind of watched the sun come up it's so pretty and so beautiful this area but if you look over here um these buildings are done and it just looks so nice um so today we were supposed to be going to Saba Resort I was gonna do a day pass there because they have a really nice pool but that's three hours away from us so I decided not to do that because I was thinking Okay, so like I was saying, we decided not to go to Sabo Resort just simply because it's three hours away and the traffic in Guatemala is really bad. So a three hour trip can easily turn into a 10 hour trip and then it's supposed to be three hours there and back. So I just decided not to do that because I really wanted to get a lot done in the days that we were here. I'm not here for very long. So yeah, so today we're going to Antigua, Guatemala, and we're going to, I'm going to put the name of the places that we're going because I do not want to butcher the name of them, but I know one is the Catalina Arc, or the Catalina Arch, and then we're going to this breakfast place, I believe it's called El Verda, um, it's just a really pretty breakfast place, and then we're going to the, I think it's called Habanero, Hab, Hab, Habit, Habatango, Habatango? <laughs> I don't know y'all I don't think that's right but that's what we're going today um and then uh, tomorrow we we're supposed to go to well we're trying to still decide if we're going to go to Aftalin which is three hours away also it depends how much we get done today but I'm gonna check in with y'all once I get done doing my makeup because we're a little behind on time so y'all this is the outfit your girl is dressed um first we're gonna go to Catalina Arch and then we're gonna go to the breakfast spot that I was telling y'all about earlier. Do you want to give them an outfit of the day? 
oh she ain't ready yet y'all but um yeah this is what i'm wearing i got this set from i believe i want to say city trends no i'm lying i got this from rainbows um these were from amazon these were from shein and i got also these earrings from where did these come from i believe these came from shein as well but yeah y'all i'm not wearing um, these flats i'm actually wearing orange heels excuse my room it looks crazy in here where's my bag let me make sure okay so i'm wearing these shoes today but we're gonna be doing a lot of walking so i'm gonna just put them off for pictures you ready yeah, i can give them out Ooh, right. let's come out here come out here it's giving body thank you Ooh, who is she where's the dress from sheen Period. Um, purse from Sheen, heels from Sheen, jewelry from Sheen. Those are cute. Really there, really I did cute. myself. Period. A little spin, a little back action going on. Real cute. But y'all, we about to get ready and go. I'll check in with y'all once oh, we get I, there. That's what I. I just walked up to her, her and said that he wanted to take pictures. didn't speak English so we had to use Google yeah. Translate the entire trip which I personally didn't mind it actually made our trip more entertaining us trying to learn how to speak Spanish and use Google Translate at the same time it was it was a blast y'all right here you're seeing us trying to negotiate a ride we actually got taxed on this ride we paid I believe we paid about I want to say 30 quick kazelles for this ride so it was equivalent to like 13 usd which i do not recommend taking the first price they give you i would always recommend negotiate 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 no matter where you go um, one way or round trip one way one way 100 100 how much is that that's 13 dollars So we're currently at El Hato. We were supposed to get lunch here, but unfortunately they don't take cash. They don't take USD. They don't take Quizellas. They only take um, Visa cards. And we have a Visa card, but for some reason they did not accept our Visa card. I don't know why, but for some reason they didn't. So we took a tut-tut here. Um, now we're going to 
Hobbit. I think it's called Hobbit. What is it, friend? Hobbit Tenango. We're going to eat lunch there instead. Although this place is really, really pretty. I am going to put the footage that I did get here, but we weren't really here long. But it looks nice. So, yeah, if y'all decide to come here, make sure you have cash. Sorry, make sure you have card only. <laughs> Get a uh, oh, necklace? Oh, no, no. Small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much? A uh, 45. 45. Uh -huh. You don't know what that price is. How you had your hat? Yeah. But a 40, good price. I need one more for my best friend. Let me get her black. Okay, how much for a three? A 90 get. They should glasses, lady, have different designs. I uh, do no like the glasses, but oh, I'm not. I ain't blouse, like maybe ponchos, maybe hats. When I blast it, we'll oh. come back. Wallet, cause I'm wallet? hungry. Yeah, what wallet? Wallet. My mommy wanna walk. Oh, oh, oh my sorry, gosh. amiga. Woo. Estás bien? I'm good. I'm good. Uh -huh. Wallet. Bien. Uh -huh. That would have been fatal. Definitely would have. <laughs> check in with the vlog as y'all can see um i don't know what's going on with my eye but i think i'm getting a eye infection uh, my eye hurts so bad but we're currently still at hobbit it's so beautiful here we're still enjoying it i definitely would recommend um the food is really good it is rainy season but it feels really nice out here it feels really nice right now we're just taking pictures she's over there flicking it up we're in one of the hobbit houses right now oh my gosh you know how we were saying they filmed a movie here the a movie here the movie was hobbit it, that's the movie so today, literally y'all we kept trying to she kept telling me there was a movie film i'm like no it wasn't like no it wasn't but it looked familiar and then now that's that's what the movie was called Whew, child we about to get ready and go back to uh Galea no not Galea Kayala Kayala <laughs> y'all my eye looks crazy sorry i know but i need to take a shower i'm exhausted oh okay so we have time to go but y'all we just got back to the airbnb and when i say i am tired i am tired i have I have a headache but i feel better um the traffic here is no joke from uh, crap what was where we just left again uh, no what's this area called again the air, antigua. antigua so from antigua to uh kyla which is in guadalamale city it usually takes about a little under an hour 45 to 55 minutes but due to traffic it almost took three hours for us to get home so I would definitely recommend going early and don't travel during like their busy hours, which I believe our uh, Uber driver told us earlier that it's between one, two to five. And then I think he said seven to eight. And right now it's going on um, eight o'clock. 
So tomorrow we're gonna try to get up um, early. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I'm just gonna play it by ear, y'all. I haven't been following my itinerary the whole time I've been here. I just really been going with the flow. Um, tonight we're gonna try to find a club in Guatemala City. I don't have high hopes just simply because all the club spots look like they would have been in um, Antigua, but we're not going back over to Antigua due to all the traffic right now. So we're gonna try to find something to get into over here. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to go on TikTok to see if I can find something. But I'm about to take a shower now um, and get ready to go out. And I'll check in with y'all once I'm dressed. Okay, y'all. This is the outfit of the night. I'm wearing the shirt is from Shein. Shorts is from, I believe, Rainbow. Purse, Shein shoes. Shein, friend, do you want to give them an outfit of the night? Yes. She's putting on her shoes now. Give it to them. Oh, give it, give it to them. Nova. Purse from Sheen. Period. Um, jewelry from Sheen. Shoes Period. From Sheen and fashion over. I got from Hill. Period. And where your ass come from? My ass. My mama. Oh, Period. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, we'll check in with y'all once we're um on our way. We don't even know where we're going. We just know that we're going. Right. Finally view your story. I've been waiting for this man to view my story whole vacation. He finally did. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. my heart is smiling right now. Yeah, she's super happy because she was definitely sad. I know. I was like, and why I my man? I, I was like, why my man not viewing my story? Like don't these don't stories are for you. Why are you not viewing my story? Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's dark over here. It's getting a little creepy. This is where we I die, friend. This is where we die, friend. This, no. is, this is the dark alley they was talking about. <laughs> this is the alley that they was talking about. Yeah, this is where it happens at. It goes down in the alleyway. Yeah, it goes down in the alley. Oh, so pretty. So pretty here. You can tell they got money over here. Look at these BMWs. If we just pass like a few, yeah. This is where the money is at. This is where the money is at. Oh, look at the view. For the day I die, I'm going to touch the sky. Good morning, y'all. Today is day three. This is officially our last day in Guatemala. I just wanted to come on camera and give y'all a little outfit of the day. Um, this dress came from Shein. These are the shoes that I had earlier in the vlog. And then uh, what else do I have on? I have earrings. I got these from Amazon. And then I have these rings. I got this set from Shein. Who did you want to give the outfit of the day? Shirt from Shein. Shorts from uh, the thrift store. Uh, jewelry from Shein, heels from Shein. No, I think I got this from Forever 21. But yeah, this is the outfit of the day, y'all. We're getting ready. Period. Really, really oh, cute. My purse too. Oh, sorry, y'all. That's cute. Purse from Shein. They probably gonna be like, y'all some Shein wearing oh, hoes. <laughs> whole closet Shein. Um, but y'all, we're getting ready to go to a breakfast place called. Uh, Coffee District? Coffee District? Yeah, Coffee District. That's where we're going. And then after that, we're probably going to have like a chill pool day. It's supposed to rain today, but hopefully it doesn't. Um, we have yet to enjoy the amenities of our Airbnb. So we're going to do that for a little bit. And then later on, we'll probably go out and explore. Um, did you want to go back to Antigua? I would like to. I don't know. We might go back to Antigua or um, I'm thinking about getting a day pass. I don't know yet, y'all, but we're going to play it by ear. Airport and do it that way, they have it. 
Yeah. We don't want to do that, but if we have to, because we don't have any more, all we have is USD. Would you take an Uber? Yeah, an Uber. Yeah. You can walk. Yeah. You have to be very careful. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's safe in Kayala. Yeah. It seems very safe. They have Kayala. officials all around, like guards and stuff. Yeah. Very safe. Kind of safe. Yeah. It has its things. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you have to, when you go to not play, what is the club called again? Plus. No. Plus. Yeah, do you have to set a reservation? Yeah. That's what they tell us, but I don't know how. <laughs> well, we have to talk to the or owner. Okay. Like, Yeah, this was the quickest tan I ever got. I tan so nasty. But hey, y'all, I just wanted to check in with the vlog. We just left the pool. It was really, really nice out there. I'm sorry about the lighting in here, y'all. But we just left the pool. It was really, really nice, really relaxing. We're about to go to the bank now because we don't have any more Quizellas. So we're about to go get some money and then we're about to try this taco spot. What is it called again? I think it's called, it's like, Oh my gosh, my tan is horrible. So bad. But they have, what? how do you pronounce it? Berea? Berea. 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 Yes. No. The R wrong. Taco. No. Why you say it like that? You stretching it. Berea. Berea Taco. Berea Taco. Okay. Okay. Y'all, we're going to go try Berea Tacos. And when they was popular, I always wanted to try them, but I never got a chance to try them because there was like no spots near me in Orlando. So I'm excited. I'm expecting it to be good. I'm gonna authentic. link. Yeah, I'm expecting it to be authentic. Tastes so good. We also got some uh, Guatemala um, snacks. I'm gonna do a video for y'all trying different Guatemala food. Um, yeah, I'm gonna check in with y'all once we get back from the bank. I really don't know what we're doing tonight other than getting lunch right now. But yeah, I'll check in with y'all in a little bit. So she's talking about some buenas noches and she keeps saying gracias for the effort. But it is good night now. It is. Buenas noches. But did you just want to say it so bad because you don't know nothing else. How does it go to the bathroom? Baño. That's it. It's baños. Baños. Oh, baños. How you say how are you? I don't know. Como esta. Oh, oh. How you say good morning? You don't know good know morning? The, wait, 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 wait. No, it, it's not clicking. It's not clicking. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> uh, what else? I speak Patois in English. Um, <laughs> where are we? I don't know. Oh, over here? Wait, how you say good morning, though? Um, 
Uh, I know it, but it's gonna be hey y'all. So we just check it in with the vlog. I want to show y'all my outfit of the night. I'm not even gonna mention where I got this stuff. It'll just be linked down below. Y'all already know what it is at this point. Like, I'm not even gonna say anything. But yeah, this is the fit for tonight. We're going to this place called, it's, um, it's like Chanita Grill or something like that. They have the burrito tacos that I was telling y'all about earlier. I'm gonna put the name on the screen of the place. Brianna, okay, where's the outfit? Sheen, um, skirt, I think Sheen or Rainbow Hills Fashion Nova. Her sheen, y'all seen that yesterday. <laughs> yeah, jewelry sheen. Cute, cute, cute. So we're gonna check in with y'all once we get there. After we leave this spot, we're supposed to be going to a club called what was it? Nobel, Noble, Noble, or either another club. I'm not Noble sure. or another club, or we might do like a hookah lounge. I don't know yet, y'all. But we are gonna play it by ear. But yeah, I just want to check in and show y'all the outfit of the night. Oh. <laughs> Breaking shot. Okay. Is it in like near in Guatemala City? Yeah, it's it's in it's close to living. Oh, okay. Oh. Is usually those clubs are really packed on the weekends? Yeah. Okay. Break yeah, we want R E A K or yeah, yeah, that one. We're gonna look up both to see like which one has the best reviews. That that is a, a, a small place. It's just uh, they got shot drink and uh, music but it's not for it's no big one for dancing oh okay. oh the living they have a the you can dance. Go to dancing oh, okay we need i don't know what you want 4. you want a dancing or yeah we want dance 4.7 and then what's the other one? oh there's the night factory yeah yeah it's usually busy over here in kayla or no not like right now but a little busy yeah yeah <laughs> What part of town do you live on? You say again? What part of town do you live on? What part of Guatemala do you live on? In the city? Yeah, I live close to Guadalajara, like uh, 20 minutes. Oh, okay. What is it called? What zone? Uh, zone 17. 17. I love it. They just be out in the road. I don't know how they do it. I'll be yeah. So you coming for vacation? You're vacation. Here, you... Yeah, vacation. Vacation. From Florida. Well, we live in Texas, but we are from Florida. Oh, uh, I have a friends. One friends live here in Kayala. Uh huh. And usually make the make the rice. Uh huh. We live in Texas too. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, it's a short flight, like two hours and thirty minutes. Yes. Very short. How cute! I, I know it's not prom. Yes, it is. And you too little to be wearing a mesh top. How is this allowed? Titties. A freaking cover, damn. Okay. That's not even age appropriate. This is horrible. Since we've been here because they drive crazy as hell. 
and bam, there's the accident right here. <laughs> this is the club area. I forgot what zone. What is this? This is zone um, ten, right? Yeah, I think zone so. ten. No, no, we stay in zone no, ten. No, no. What is this zone? I thought this was oh, yeah, zone, zone ten. ten. It is. This is good. No espanol. No espanol. Sorry. Last night in Little Kayala. Oh, you have to piss. I'm sorry, friend. Let's go, let go, let go, let go, let go. What you want to try? <laughs> what you said you want to try? I want to try NLE's Takashi. Y'all, she's talking about she want to try NL, NL, what's his name? NLE? NLE, NLE Kakashi. Y'all know he got the booty cream Kakashi. I told her the people that's taking that is going to end up in the hospital bed with a concussion. That is not. <laughs> Bro, that is not right. Why would you call it a concussion? That means he <laughs> threw some shit in the pot. <laughs> but y'all bitches the pie. No, no, ma'am. I'm not I, buying I, it. I actually want to read like the ingredients before I do. <laughs> no friend, it's not anything that somebody put a sticker <laughs> on and label and y'all want to. Why you didn't put no time in that, no thought in that motherfucker? <laughs> no, ma'am. But y'all, we're getting ready to pack because tonight is our last day. I have an early flight, so y'all can just watch me um pack. Excuse if I'm slurring my words a little bit. I am a little tipsy. I'll give y'all the update on how the club went and how the overall night was in the morning. I know you did, bitch. I know, I know. Because I'm like, bruh, I use more money than you. You didn't use really. Because you really didn't use. Bitch, what we got this for? We went to the bank when you had it. Big breakfast on you. Ooh. Breakfast on her earth. Why did we waste an hour going to the bank? Bitch, we went to the bank. How you want me? You could convert it back to your money, though. 11. Uh, 75. 75? That's not that much money. I don't think. How much? 150 money? motherfucking oh, 20 dollars. Bitch, yes. Put that back on your card. You're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm going to need a little bit of it because you know yeah. you were short. Fuck you. So I'm going to feed the homie tomorrow. <laughs> don't. I'm gonna don't. Hey, y'all. Don't motherfucking mind her. Fuck. Is it recording? Yeah, it is. You should be able to eat. You think it's enough for you to eat tomorrow? Gracias. For you to eat. I have a hundred and two hundred should be enough for you to eat. Cause you know drinks and stuff be like six feet. And I got my US money. You know we can't use that. We're going to breakfast. And most places don't accept that. I think it will. Good morning, y'all. Today is officially the last day in Guatemala. I'm really, really sad. For how would you rate the trip? A 10. The trip was a 10, y'all. I really had fun. I definitely would rec recommend coming to Guatemala. I know I'm going to get this question asked. Everyone was wondering this. And before I came here, I was wondering the same thing, y'all. Let me put on my glasses because my eyelashes are through. So everybody was wondering if um, Guatemala was safe. And the answer is yes and no. So they have different zones. I guess it's like different cities in Guatemala. So the zones that people have told me, like locals that live here have told me not to stay in are one three, four, six, seven, and I believe I want to say 18. So one, three, four, six, seven, and 18 are the most dangerous zones to stay in. Yesterday, we met a lady at a um, coffee shop. Shout out to Sophia. We're going to actually um, list her down in the comment section because she provided us with her number. So she was like, if you ever come back or if you have any friends coming here, um, she was basically telling us we can contact her if we had any questions about things to do in Guatemala. So the zones that I would recommend staying in is 14, no, sorry, 13, 14, 15, and 16. If y'all are wondering what zone we stayed in, we stayed in zone, this is zone 16, right? Nope, I'm lying, y'all. This is zone 10. We stayed, no, zone 10 is like 15 minutes from here. Y'all, we stayed in zone um, 16. I'm going to go back and do my research to make sure that we did stay. Kayela is in zone 16, but 
I'm, I think I'm 99.9% positive that we stay in zone um, 16. This zone is really, really safe. I actually read online that this is one of like the richest uh, areas in Guatemala City. So I felt very comfortable here. Last night we did go to the club and y'all, they made us feel really, really comfortable. Everybody was coming up to us, asking us if we was okay, um, talking to us, dancing with us, telling us that we were pretty. I just felt really, really comfortable last night. Even the guy that let us into the club, like every once in a while, he'll see us going to the bathroom and he'll be like, are you ladies okay? Are you good? Do you need anything? And we just felt really loved. We felt really comfortable last night. Even our Uber drivers here were really sweet. When we didn't know where we were going, they would get out the car. They would make sure we got to our destination. Some of them wouldn't even pull off until they seen us go inside. So the people here were really, really uh, sweet. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend coming to Guatemala, but like I said, I would recommend only staying in zones 13, 14, 15, and 16. And before I leave, I did want to go ahead and give y'all a tour. We have stayed in this Airbnb for four days, so it's not spick, spat, clean, but it is okay. So I'm going to give y'all a tour to end. Well, I guess I can take y'all to breakfast with me. I don't have to end the vlog here. I'll take y'all to breakfast. After breakfast, I'm going to the airport to take my COVID test, and then I'll officially end the vlog out. Do you have any last words, friend? Um, you should definitely come to Guatemala. Definitely very secure here. You have to have a pin code to enter the door. So it is. And then you press the check, the door opens. When you first walk in to the right is the kitchen. The kitchen was very nice and luxury. They have stainless steel oven, stainless steel microwave. They had um, seasonings. We didn't cook anything, but they did have a lot of silverware and you know, just essential things that you need to cook and eat with. Um, they have plates, cups, all of that up here. Over here, um, they had a nice counter, nice big island right here. They also had a coffee maker. We had coffee, I believe the second morning, comes with cream, coffee, sugar. They had tea bags. They do have a wash and dryer. We did wash our towels, stackable wash and dryer. Over here is the refrigerator. We didn't really use that, but it was just nice to have. We have a dishwasher over here. If you come over here, they did have a full um, body mirror. This was really nice. I know y'all see me taking my pictures in this mirror. The dining area, we were doing our makeup here. Y'all are probably wondering why we have fans. This Airbnb did not come with air conditioning. I found that out once I got here. It also did come with a nice big TV. Um, we didn't use the TV, but it was just nice to have. I never used the TV on vacation. This is the living room. I guess I could take y'all out on the um, patio. Say hey, friend. This is Crystal. She also has a channel. I'm going to link her channel down below. This is our nice big balcony. All of this is ours. Really, really nice. You can come out through here and you have somewhat of a view. Okay, if you come out through here, you have a little bit of a view. There's the castle right there. And you can see a little bit of the city of Gaela. They're doing a lot of construction over here. I believe these um, apartments are fairly new. You can see everyone has their own balcony. We had some little chairs out here. We didn't really sit out here much because we were only here for a few days, but it was really, really nice to have this space. So we're gonna come back in here. This is a span of the living room again. You come over here, this is the hallway. This is where you would control the, um, the AC. They have security. They have uh, contacts. You can contact the Airbnb lady through here the weather, a gallery, all of this is just really nice and updated. If you come over here, this is the guest bathroom. This bathroom is kind of small, but they get the job done. Um, excuse that, like I said, we have been here for three days. The shower is really, really nice. You can pull that down. It came with shampoo, conditioner, and soap, but we did bring our own essentials. I also like um, the lighting. I really like the lighting. It has like this little glow. Um, behind it. I love that about the bathroom. This is my friend's crystal room. Please excuse the bed, y'all. It had a nice uh, big closet. It came with drawers, blankets, extra pillows, hangers. Really, really nice double closet. Over here, this is a little side table. You can store stuff in there, a little nightlight. This is a twin size bay. If you look over here, you can see 
um the view from the room all the rooms have a nice view and this is the master bedroom which was my room i love how they have so much um lighting i really really love this i love the structure up there this was a really nice room and I also have a fan in here because none of the rooms were air conditioned as well. Here's my view from the master bedroom. Come over here. I also have a walk-in closet. Came with drawers. It came with an iron and iron board. Again, double closet. It's actually a walk-in. You can actually come in here. It's pretty spacious, y'all. <clears throat> come through here. This is my bathroom. It has the same light as the other bathroom. I really, really like that. Really, really nice. Um, it also came with a blow dryer, extra toiletry down there. Hand soap. This is the shower. This, this shower is set up as the other shower as well. I do want to let y'all know they do have a nice water pressure here, which I was surprised because I know in a lot of countries they don't have um, good water pressure or they don't have hot water. But this Airbnb was equipped with hot water. So yeah, this is pretty much the end of the Airbnb tour. Like I said, y'all, we're getting ready to go to breakfast. I'll take y'all with me to go to breakfast. And then after that, we're going to get our COVID test at the airport. So I'll take y'all with me and that will be the end of this vlog. Yeah, this one. You had a camera? Yeah. Oh, yeah, put it in there. I'll sit in the back of here. Oh, okay. One, one could go up here. One up, up here. Oh. So nice. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh. Once we got to the airport, we did have to take a COVID test in order to enter the U.S. The COVID test cost $25 USD, and it took about 20 minutes to find out the results. Hey, y'all. Just, oh my gosh, it's so hot. I look crazy. But hey, y'all, I'm just checking in. I'm currently at the airport here ready to take my uh, COVID test. They have us in these little uh, pods. Hey, friend. They have us in these little pods getting ready to take our COVID test. Y'all, it's so high in this airport. I am burning the hell up. Whew, it's hot. So I'm going to record me taking my um, test. I wonder if we can do it ourselves or if they do it. Hopefully we get to do it because I don't want them to go too deep. Huh? I said hopefully we get to do it because I don't want them to go too deep. Exactly. Yes, I'm like burning the hell up. Already at the house, something like this. Yeah, we need to get the candy. The candy's right here. Get, get I don't know. I don't know. Those are like regular. What is this? They got hats. 
Do you speak English? 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 No. So let's try these. I don't know what that is. I'll get one. Yeah, we could try that. I want to try that. I don't know what else. Let's split it. Uh, what else can we try? Oh, I think this looks familiar. This, I think it's the thing you suck on. I don't, I don't think I make that. Quanto? I said the ocho. Ocho times. Ocho, ocho. What's ocho? What's ultra? Yeah, this is what I like, you care. They look like, like lava. Hungry hoe. <laughs> this is a hungry hoe. <laughs> 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 it's a serious one. Why she infected my bag? <laughs> my, I'm not even gonna eat my food. I waste my money. I know you're not. I know you're not. I know it's not gonna be good.